I say I change with some little shit, still be getting my energy. The memory, I'm in both lanes and energy. Shit. Yo, hello. It's Pele here from Editing Visuals and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make this explosion effect you guys saw in the beginning without any plugins. Let's get right into this. So the first thing you're going to do is to import your footage into your After Effects project and here when you have your, your footage in you're basically going to row to brush out the person you want this effect to uh, affect basically. And if you don't know how to row to brush, I've made a tutorial on how to do that, which is going to be linked in the description. And when you have row to brush, it should look something like this here. Might not be the best row to brushing this, but gets the job done. And uh, you're basically going to press Ctrl D on this clip here. Ctrl D, boom. So you get two copies of this. And you're going to delete the effect on the layer below here. So you get the background back. And after that, you're you're going to make a adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y and you're going to drag this one between these two layers here and the first effect we're going to add is called CC Mr. Mercury and here we're going to set the velocity to 2.9 the gravity to 0 the blob depth size to 1.25 and you guys can leave the lightning and shading settings at uh, default after that we're going to be adding CC glass and here we're going to open up surface and on the bump map here we're going to choose our background layer after that you're going to be adding CC blobilize and you're going to open up a blobiness on blob layer choose the background layer again after that leave the rest at default the next effect is going to be colorama and here you're going to open up output cycle use preset palette and choose ramp gray and then we're going to be adding glow radius at 10 the glow intensity should be 0.4 then you can press ctrl d to copy the glow and then increase the radius to 120 and the glow radius to 0.3 do the same again ctrl d and the radius here should be 458 and the glow 0.2 and now your effect might look something like this here and to fix that you're going to go up to blobilize and change the property instead of lightness you're going to change that one to alpha instead and then to add a little bit more color to this i'm going to be adding four color gradient and here i'm going to set a purple on the color one and two so something like that and on the color three and four i'm going to go with the light blue and i'm going to set the opacity to 50 percent and i'm going to set the blending mode to add after that you're going to keyframe all the colors here in the beginning so press the clock there on all the colors and then you're going to go to the end of the clip and you're basically going to switch the position of these colors here so just like that now it should look something like this here pretty pretty clean in my opinion and after that to make the colors pop a little bit more we're going to add curves to the layer make a like a s shape here this one a little bit up and here this one a little bit down and this is basically going to increase the contrast now you can't see the background uh, for the effect here so what you're going to do next is to change the blending mode here on uh, your adjustment layer to screen and after that you're going to add four color gradient to your rotor brush layer here four color gradient just like that and here we're going to choose color and then drag down the opacity to 15 percent just so it looks more natural and realistic with the liquid explosion effect here and you're going to copy this effect to the uh, background layer as well this clip also is kind of dark so i want to make it more glowy here and uh, i'm going to press ctrl d on the rotor brush layer here and i'm going to add some glows here so i'm going to add the glow and here i'm going to set the threshold here to 50 percent and the radius to 100 and the glow intensity to 0.6 then press Ctrl D, set the radius to 300 and the intensity to 0.4. Ctrl D again. And here we're going to set the glow radius to 375, intensity to 0.3. And then you're going to change the blending mode to so we're going to be using a screen. That basically will delete the drop shadow that the glow effect makes there. So this is the difference here. Makes it pop a little bit more. And also that to add a little bit more movement to this clip here. I like to add in another adjustment layer. So control alt y again and here add transform and we're going to set the scale here in the beginning to 175 
and at the end we're going to set it to 100 and you're going to open the layer up effects transform morph both of the keyframes here press f9 and then you're going to open the graph here and you're going to drag this one down like that and this one all the way like that and then we can add turbulence just to get the like wavy look to this displacement twist amount 50 in the beginning ending is going to be zero and i'm going to set the size to 300 and here mark the keyframes again, press F9, open the graph up, and here you're going to make kind of the same graph here, a very high impact here. And to make that one look smoother, you're going to press toggle switches and modes, and here you're going to activate the motion blur. And it's pretty dark in the beginning here, as you guys can see, and uh, if you don't like that look, you can just drag the adjustment layer to the left here, but then you have to open the layer up and uh, move the keyframes here as well and if you want to elevate this effect even more you can add some effects from our new tv glitch pack v2 and i'm going to show you guys how they look so this is how the second effect in the tv glitch pack is going to look on this clip here and this is how the 16th effect is going to look like from the tv glitch pack v2 it's Absolutely incredible this pack and uh, the effects you can make with it. If you guys are interested, please check out our website. And uh, if you guys like this tutorial, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our socials and our Discord server. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.